Right, for today's exercise we're going to make a simple banoffee pie. Um, it might be quite surprising how simple this is and uh, I think you'll be having a go at it yourself. Right, now you see the entire kit you need to make a banoffee. Uh, quite simple, I'll uh, take every step at a time. Right, firstly what you do, weigh out 8 ounces of digestive biscuits and uh, they have to, then to be crushed. As you can see, just crushing the ring down with the back of the table. That's uh, as simple as it gets. That's good for relieving stress. <clears throat> right, what you want to do now is get four or five ounces of butter and add them to your eight ounces of. Um, of crisp biscuits. Uh, you need to melt this. Uh, handiest way to do it is the old microwave. Right, what you want to do now is get the butter, uh, put it in the microwave, uh, blitz it 10-15 seconds at a time till it's all melted and uh, then we can add it to the, the crushed biscuits. It should take around about a minute, minute and a half. Um, every so often give it, take it out, give it a wee shake around, get some of the unmelted stuff into the, the melted stuff let's say, until it gobs into the liquid. Right, now you, now you have your melted chocolate, you just add that to your crushed biscuits and give it a good mix through. Right, and now transfer that to your cake tin that you're going to use. Push it down with the back of a spoon. That's nicely compacted, as you can see. You transfer that to the refrigerator, um, to the fridge, for around about 15 20 minutes so it can set and then be workable for, for later on. This is where I introduce you to what would be considered the cheat of the dish. Uh, it makes it so much easier and uh, makes the job very, very much more simple. This is it here. If you have a look at it, what it is, is ready made caramel. Rather than messing about with um, your condensed milk and steaming it down and uh, thickening it up, it's all done for you here. Um, quite a revelation. Uh, yeah. <laughs> And it brings out lovely results. Right, now that the base is set, uh, it's time then to put the caramel on. And say the cheat of it. Just scoop in, you'll see it's a lovely thick consistency, ideal for the pie. Right, and As you can see, right. as you can see, ample amount. That's not quite a full tin, probably two thirds, maybe three quarters, and that's just to be spread out over the, the base. There you go. Nice and evenly spread. Just now to set the bananas on top of that. Right, that's the bananas all pressed into the the base and uh, the caramel. As you see, it's looking quite well. All we need now to do is put the cream over the top of it and then dress it. And that's about everything finished. So we'll do that now. As you can see, cream is of a perfect consistency, not moving there, but not too thick where it goes into uh, lumps. 
So all I did now is add a spoonful of icing sugar. Just regular icing sugar. Grab a tablespoon of it and put it in there and work, mix it, mix it on, on through. And now it's just a matter of spooning the cream all over the top of it. There you go, that's uh, the cream on, on it now. All I want to do now is uh, grate a little bit of uh, chocolate over the top of it. So that's the next one. All I'm using is a basic milk chocolate. Um, and the finest of the grater, just use that. There you go, grilled chocolate over the top, and that's it finished.